Fort Payne, Alabama, home to a beautiful landscape, scenic mountaintops, and a thriving textile industry for decades. The city of Fort Payne and the county was really totally dependent upon the hosiery industry since the 1940s. World War II, they produced socks for the uh, army and then it just really exploded after that period of time with uh, over a hundred hosiery mills in the county. The sock and hosiery industry was, was the number one employer. We were the sock capital of the world. We made more socks here than anywhere else in the world. Every kind of sock you could imagine was sewn here. Small to large, stark white to argyle print, Fort Payne was on the map, booming as a mill town, weaving a strand of love and pride into every sock for several decades. I remember going by here as, as a uh, teenager, ride, just riding here, and it was a field, pretty much empty. Westinghouse erected the building in 1980, but that's all, nothing happened. It sat empty for the next eight years. I think I was in high school when they built the building for Westinghouse, and uh, you could drive by on the interstate and see it. This place was just a empty building. So we kind of get to see it grow and build, and that was kind of exciting. I was in the first class that come in here, 1988, February the 1st. When I first came in, there was nothing here but the columns. So we basically just started painting the columns. There wasn't nothing in there. I mean, it was, when you went through the doors, it sounded like you're talking in a drum. Initially, we were a small generator plant in the town of sock mills. Now those sock mills are gone, and we have to be a bigger corporate citizen and employ more people to keep the community going. Siemens not only changed the landscape, but they helped bring prosperity back to Fort Payne. You know, having a corporate name like Siemens that's known not just in the U.S., but all over the world uh, was really huge for us. With Siemens, it helped our city become more diversified. Siemens has been very instrumental in helping take up the slack because the hosiery mill industry experienced a downturn and it wasn't for companies like Siemens to hire some of our employees and, and help us keep Fort Payne going for the sales tax base, then we would be hurting pretty bad. We are the America's Region Center for Electrical Components for Siemens Energy. This is not an assembly plant, it's a real manufacturing plant. So we start with a raw product like glass or copper and manufacture pieces that go into a generator. Most of our things that we make go to Charlotte. So the Charlotte facility is very dependent on us getting them the products that, that they need on time. We make the components for generators that light up your house and your world. Lighting up the world wasn't as easy as flipping a switch. 25 years ago, it literally took sweat and a lot of muscle to make it happen. Not so much anymore. Pretty much anywhere you go, the technology has changed and we've experienced the same thing. The plant itself has evolved uh, hugely since I first went to work here. We used to make all of our layouts you know, with pencil and paper. And now we're using all Pro-E and CAD. Back in the old days, we would gang up and lift uh, components. And now we have cranes in here to do everything. Uh, the hard work has gone down, and the production has gone up. One thing is the taping robots. We didn't have those here when we first moved here. When I first started, and I started on the tables, pulling wire by hand. We had to pull it by hand, skin it by hand, roll bill it by hand. But now, since we have the new technology, it does everything. It's always a good thing to see that investment coming in because they wouldn't be making that investment if they weren't looking for us to provide a service for the company for the long term. The same love and pride that supported the sock industry in Fort Payne is still alive in every single Siemens worker. It's a place where teamwork is emphasized on the line and in the community. A good example is the UGF. We're the number one company in the community to give the most. When the tornado hit in 2011, Siemens stepped up, helped a lot of people. Well, you can always depend on Siemens to be involved.
We are very proud to be a part of this community. This plan has been part of the community in Fort Payne for 25 years. So our commitment to keeping folks employed in highly skilled jobs and to keeping a presence here in this area is part of an anchor to keep the community going. We definitely congratulate them on, on an anniversary of 25 years. Uh, a quarter of a century in one place, that's, that says a lot. Fort Payne and DeKalb County is so proud of you. 25 years, that's awesome. And we certainly appreciate you being here and we look forward to being with you for another 25 years or more. Thank you and thank all of your employees and your corporation. On behalf of our city, congratulations to Siemens on their 25th anniversary here in our city. And we hope there's many more anniversaries such as this to come in the future.